Hello everybody and welcome to my sixth Microsoft Excel 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use numbers and numeric operators uh, in your Excel formulas. Now we've already been kind of including numbers a little bit but not really. So let's just say you've got two numbers say one and two uh, and you want to add these two numbers together. Now that's very simple you just do equals and then we want to do A1 plus A2 uh, and that's just going to add the cells together so very simple uh, just use the plus uh, we then want to say we want to subtract them instead all we do is just change the plus for a minus and uh, that will give us minus one so A1 minus 2 is minus one uh, now you don't actually have to do it with just the, the cell references you can put numbers in yourself so equals a1 plus 1 and that will give us 11 uh, and then as you drag that down it's going to give you plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 of the cell above it uh, if we do plus 5 it's probably a little bit more significant if we drop that down and uh, then you see it counts up in fives uh, now the combination of these can be really useful uh, but as we get into more complicated calculations you need to be really careful with them so Obviously, you're aware that we can do times using the star, now times it, uh, and you can use the forward slash to, as a divide. Uh, now, uh, what you've got to be careful of, so let's say, let's say we've got lots of numbers, so let's say we've got 10, 5, 6, and we want to do equals 10 times 5 plus 6. Now, this is going to give us 56, which might not be what everyone thought it should be in the first place. Uh, some people would do f say the answer would be 300. Uh, now, those people would be incorrect. And uh, the reason being is because of the order of operations in your calculations. And exactly the same way as you normally would have it for mathematics. Uh, and people remember this in lots of different ways. Uh, some people use bid mass, some people use bod mass, uh, I've heard of another few crazy ones as well. Uh, I'm going to use uh, bid bod mass, so uh, it stands for brackets over division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Uh, and if you're looking at bid mass then this one's indices. And I probably spelled indices wrong there, so let's just spell check it. And yeah, so let's spell indices right. Uh, and uh, so the, what this is, is is this the order that Excel and just maths in general will calculate your sums. So it's going to do, ignore the top two for now, it's going to do any multiplication first, so it's going to times uh, 10 by 5 which gives us 30, and then it's going to add on, uh, well, 10 times 5, which is 50, and then it's going to add on 6, which is 56. But what if we actually wanted it to add the 5 and the 6 together first? So this is where our brackets come in. So with our brackets, we just round what we want to be calculated first. So now Excel is going to calculate 5 plus 6 first, and then times it by 10 which is going to give us uh, 110. I, do, I don't know where 300 came from. I did 5 times 6. But anyway, um, I did say that the 300 was wrong. It was just more wrong than what I thought it was. And uh, so 110 is now our answer because it does whatever's in the brackets first. And we can move brackets around and we can add various other brackets in. So if we wanted to, we could put this now all in brackets. Uh, and then do plus one afterwards and it'll do everything inside these brackets uh, and then it would add one on. See in this scenario here it actually doesn't make a difference that we put in the brackets in or not because what is happening inside those brackets is a multiplication which is going to take precedence over the addition anyway. So brackets or not it's not going to make any difference at all. Uh, and that is pretty much it so uh the only thing i have a thing i guess i want to show you is indices so if you want to do something to the power of something so that's what say we want to do a number squared you just do 
to the power of, which is the little hat above six, and then you just put in whatever you want to do. So in this case, it's done 100. Uh, and if we drag that down to go through the cells, you'll see it's squared five, squared six. Uh, and you can cube it if you put in uh, to the power of three. Uh, and then that will cube it. Uh, and you can do it as much as you like uh, with any value you like. Um, that is going to be it for this tutorial. And the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to start using text in your formulas. So, uh, that's starting getting pretty serious now. So, thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.